Imagine a world where we could fly from London to Tokyo in under 5 hours. People have been wanting this kind of air travel experience since air travel became a common means of transportation. However, in recent times, it just seems unrealistic after Concord's demise. This plane was able to travel from London to New York in three and a half hours. Unfortunately, it had many problems such as expensive fuel and environmental damage. But what if I told you that a new supersonic aircraft is on the way? Tesla's supersonic vertical takeoff and landing jet are useful in this situation, a device that Elon Musk has been wanting to create for a while now. In this video, I'll discuss how Tesla is about to revolutionize the airline industry as we know it. Welcome to Market Thrive. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Let's get started! The switch to electric vehicles has started to pick up speed. When it comes to airplanes, we have yet to see the shift to electric planes even begin. This is partly due to the limitations of the energy density in present batteries. EVs are faster, cheaper to maintain, and on schedule to become cheaper than internal combustion engines. Even with EVs, we are still at a place where one charge won't be enough for a long road trip as of right now. However, Tesla has been preparing to produce a battery that has far density than the previous lithium-ion batteries. Many battery specialists assert that the point at which batteries are dense enough to permit vertical takeoff and landing is 400 watt-hours per kilogram. The capacity to fly an airplane straight up and land like a drone, or vertical takeoff and landing also known as VTOL, is exactly what it sounds like. This type of technology is employed in many military aircraft and is especially useful in circumstances where there isn't enough room for horizontal takeoff. You only really need 400 watts per kilogram to have a compelling aircraft, assuming that your craft's cell percentage is high. It doesn't need to be nearly as high as it is on a rocket, but if it's roughly around the 70% level at 400 watts per kilogram, you can have a very respectable range. Elon Musk has indicated that 400 watt-hours per kilogram with a long cycle life and manufacturing volume is not too far away and will probably happen in 3 to 4 years. Additionally, he already has a design for a VTOL jet and is ready to construct one when the battery density permits him to. And then as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Elon has a concept for a Tesla VTOL jet. The Concorde failed to catch on for three basic reasons. Tesla's forthcoming electric plane resolves the problems of high fuel costs, aircraft noise, and ozone layer harm. For starters, electricity is far more affordable than fuel, and at most, running gas jets at typical speeds will result in a cost to purity. Additionally, as proved by electric vehicles, energy is significantly quieter than engines. Because EVs are so quiet, there have been heated discussions about requiring false engine noises on all electric vehicles. Moreover, I'm confident that everyone would be pleased if they didn't hear the sound throughout the journey. All of these things make perfect sense when it comes to electric planes because there wouldn't be much, if any, harm to the ozone layer and the plane runs on electricity. Typically, with regard to aircraft propelled by gas, on the other hand, electric planes are more efficient the higher you fly. The efficiency of the aircraft increases with altitude. Pay close attention since Elon Musk has previously highlighted this and it has enormous potential. A VTOL electric supersonic plane, for example, is what I consider to be the best form of air transport, and it actually functions fairly well for a number of reasons. A combustion aircraft has a kind of fixed aperture and air scoop like the engine is a fixed size, so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude and figure out how to get the right amount of air at sea level all the time. In particular, the higher you go, the better the electricity, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas if you have a combustion aircraft, as you get higher, it tends to get worse. And then the problem of ultra-supersonic combustion, which as you probably already know, results in the air having to slow down and being less efficient, whereas electric aircraft would just become better and better as they flew higher. As electric aircraft fly higher, their efficiency increases, enabling supersonic speeds that are far quicker than you can think. As one climbs, the air becomes increasingly thinner, reducing air resistance. In order for engines to run effectively, you must figure out how to get the proper amount of air. This is not the case for electric aircraft because as they ascend, the air resistance on the aircraft decreases, allowing the aircraft to go quicker and faster. 
This is why flying faster in space is much simpler than in the atmosphere. To go extremely fast with a plane, you have to climb quite darn high because the atmosphere basically looks like molasses when you're moving fast. Elon said while he was outlining his Hyperloop concept which aims to create a supersonic train built inside a tunnel. Therefore, something like a Hyperloop can perform really well in that arena because you instantly or almost immediately enter a low-pressure environment for distances of at least 500 miles, where you spend all your time just ascending and descending and don't really get the opportunity to spend time on cruise. Given that the technology is still in its early stages in terms of miles per hour, determining the speed that an electric plane will travel at is very challenging. Tesla may easily outperform Rolls-Royce by a significant margin thanks to significantly better battery technology and designs. Rolls-Royce has been working on an electric plane that can fly up to 300 miles per hour. The long-dominant corporation always has a decision to make anytime a new technology enters the market. Do they go all in on technology or continue to what they've been doing for years? Long-dominant corporations frequently make a second decision and run the risk of becoming outdated as happened to Blockbuster and Nokia. Given that this occurs frequently, Boeing and Airbus may soon experience disruption. Elon is convinced that this is the case because businesses today are incredibly risk-averse and for good reason. The strategy works until you are disrupted. Given that they appear to be concentrating on relatively few changes to planes rather than significant enhancements, it appears unlikely to come from Boeing or Airbus. Overall, when the batteries get dense enough to permit supersonic flying, an electric aircraft readily starts to make sense. Additionally, Tesla has always aimed to hasten the transition to renewable energy sources and in order to do so, the firm must interfere with aviation. Looks like we have a race between traditional manufacturers like Boeing versus Tesla. Will Boeing be able to leverage its experience to develop the first supersonic jet? Or will Tesla beat them in the race with its groundbreaking VTOL technology? Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you love this video. And I'll see you in the next one.